Well, good evening, everybody. I had kind of a crazy idea tonight. I want to do a little like urban foraging at my home. Um, I was digging, making a garden because when you have a home, it's like a canvas. You paint with money and time. It's fun. And I was looking at my gardening patch over here, and I thought, it's a little garden patch. It's some of these weeds, they're like prolific in my neighborhood, look kind of familiar. The ones in the back corner right there, I thought like a nasturtium or something. That turns out to be common mallow, because I have this thing called Google, and it lets me figure these things out. That would be my kale and my chili pepper plants, but we have a frost warning tonight, so they're in bed. This stuff looked really familiar. I'm like, this is kind of cool. What is this? If people who cook, what does it kind of look like to you? Anyone? Got one person watching, so no one really knows. But it looks a little bit like arugula. And lo and behold, it goes by the name London Rocket. It's in the Brassica family, where you find things like cruciferous vegetables, mustard greens, probably arugula, I don't know, and things of that ilk. Strangely enough, it tastes a little bit like mustard. It's spicy. It's yummy. And it's growing like crazy next to my garden. Now, I'll just prove to you here that it is edible. I'm going to pick some. I'm going to eat it. I hope the dog didn't pee on it, but it's the principle, I guess. It's tasty. It tastes a little bit like if you've had mustard greens or kind of a spicy kale. Stuff's amazing. It makes a great salad. It sautés up and garlic, olive oil, a little salt and pepper. Done. I've used it now when I'm without meals, without vegetables in the house, and do a shopping, like, what do I want to eat? I've got greens in my hand. So I'm going to pick some of this tonight, make a quick salad, a quick and dirty salad, show off my kitchen, then fry some up some garlic, because who doesn't love that? So let's just pick some of this stuff here. Let's just dig it and just pick it. And I don't know if there's a special way to do it. It's a, it literally grows like weeds. I think I have some dandelion and greens growing in here, too. I did not plant this. This kind of came stock with the dirt that I bought. So I'll just pick some of this. Let's see here. I think that's enough for a small salad and a little sauteed something something. Yeah, pick a little more. Let's see here. Oh my God, fall it over. All right, I'm gonna take this, wash it off, cook it up. Let's see if I can make this work. Okay, I'm gonna do this in my awesome kitchen. Set that on the countertop, get it all kind of cleaned up. Let's put this on a stand, handy dandy standy. All right, let's do this. All righty. So we're gonna do this, and get it all washed up, and start making a salad. So we can do the stand. There we go. like that angle I hope there we go amateur hour right now that's what I got let's wash this up so let's see that there down here is from the custom since one of our custom kitchens I made kind of a custom built-in for my microwave all my cutting boards, other good things. I want quick access, to all that fun stuff. Let's see here. Let's just go to selfie mode. Make this work. You're on like a videography adventure for me. I'm using my own cameraman. And tonight is no exception. So let's chop some of this up for a salad and then we'll saute. all these stems, 86 of those. Let's do a quick job. Uh, neat. That's pretty simple, right? Get garlic. Sweet. And back, garlic. Come back. Come back.
Come back, little clove. Uh, I'm the only one eating this. Nobody saw that. Chopped a little garlic. This is the sauteed portion here. I guess I can use some of this in the dressing, but eh, like a super simple just dressing for this. I was surprised how yummy it is that the spiciness of the vegetables really shines through. So let's go ahead and get that out of the way. Make a quick uh, salad -y thing. If this was through like the magic of TV, I'd actually have it all ready, but this is my first rodeo doing this, so. Quick dressing, olive oil, boom. A little bit of, ooh, a little bit of white balsamic. Hey -o. All right, let's just throw some of that garlic in there for fun. Grab a whisk. This is, like, this is like the dumbest type of dressing you can make. Get shit everyone scare the dog. We'll lightly dress our veggies. A little salt, a little pepper. Here, salt. Hope you're doing salt and pepper. Can't see me. I mean, it doesn't really get easier than that for a salad. You could add tomato, avocado, I've got all these things, and it's uh, really good. A little bitter, a little bitey, but yummy. Okay. Hmm. Let's fry some shit up. Hmm. All right, let's cook up some uh, awesome greens here. Let's see if we can do this. Um, this works. Oh, the whole custom kitchen thing I'm talking about. When we built this, got a custom little rack here for all my oils, vinegars, and fun stuff. So I can just like, grab and go while like, cooking things on the stove. Same for this side. Sort it as I want. Got this wicked thing. Wicked spice pull out. Really awesome. And then just assorted drawers. All spec to fit for everything I need. But let's focus more on the cooking here. It's kind of a smaller kitchen, so it's built to optimize for space. See over the crappy camera angles here. All right. Yeah, that works pretty well. Cool. Let's fry this stuff up. That's the back one. Front one. This is like a 20 second recipe. Easy. Don't abuse your greens. Pansy heat up. Add some oil. Let it get let it get hot. Like a tablespoon. Easy. Get my salt thing. Always have a salt thing. Need your pepper mill. Get all that stuff together. This, this burner's awesome. It's huge. Huge. And then we have to wait. I mean, this is TV would be happening already. But I have to have patience. Because I'm not on TV. Uh, no light. That's even better, right? Okay, let's see if we can try this thing out. Should be hot enough. Got a little shim in my oil. I've always wanted to make a cooking show. Throw it in there. Please sizzle. Hey, what you want to hear? A little sizzle and a little spluttle. Uh, spatula. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Little bit. Throw shit everywhere. Saute the garlic, just take some of the heat out of it. Get the bite out of it, cook that down. I mean, garlic and arugula, garlic and spinach, garlic and kale, they're my best friends. These are BFFs. They have a pact that when they turn 30, if they're still single, they're getting married. Having a little garlic and kale children. Alright, just a little color. Oh, throw that in there. Salt. Pepper. Pepper. This is like a 30 second recipe. 
for the heat. And uh, it turns to nothing from something. I'm an animal get off the cutting board. That's pretty awesome. So the point of this gets me to like show off the awesome work we do, the beautiful kitchens we make, the custom cabinetry we like to do in a small space, in a small kitchen, but we make it work. Beep, beep, don't step on the dog. This little guy loves this place, but I mean, look at this. It is a pretty small kitchen, optimized for space, island in the middle, all this work area, and it works. It's still got flow. We can build this out for anybody, custom for the glasses, a little more narrow space. You have to kind of make it work. Lazy Susan down in the corner. Sick work. So, people want more cool recipes. I think I'm going to make kind of a feature of this. You think I should make a feature, cook in some of the custom kitchens we do, cook in some of our remodels, show off some awesome stuff. Let me know. And give me some recipe ideas. Something quick, something dirty, and I'll come up with stuff myself. Everyone have a wonderful night and a great weekend.